this video we are going to discuss about the problem print the pattern we have to write a program that receives a number n as input and print the following pattern so let's first observe the pattern pattern is like p if for n is equal to 2 the pattern will be 1 star 2 star 5 star 6 then in the second line there will be 2 dash and then 3 star 4 this is a pattern like so it's quite confusing i know so let's understand how the pattern is and what's the basically this pattern is about okay so for n is equal to 3 i have written this number of pattern i have written this pattern so for n is equal to 3 this is the given pattern which we have to construct this is for n is equal to 3 you can see one thing that when the number of rows or you can say the number of rows in this pattern is equal to n when n, n was 2 there was 2 rows if n was 4 there will be 4, four rows so this is the particular observation which we have to make the next observation is that the pattern is something like this if we divide this into two part like this let's divide this pattern into two part you can see that from here we are starting it is one then two or let's write it like this one two three then four five then six and then again it will in the right side seven eight nine 10, 11, 12. This is how the pattern will look like. Similarly, for n is equal to 2, it was given something like this that the first will be 1, then star 2, because there will be 2 lines, so there will be a 1 dash, 2 dash for there. So you can see that in the first row, there are 0 dash, in the second row, there are 2 dash, in the third row, there are basically 4 dash. This is also we have to keep track on. Then there will be a 3 and then you can see a separation and I start then there is a 4 then a 5 and then a 6 this is how uh, it is for 2 looks like you can see here okay so now let's understand how we can do this the first observation is that if we have to store this pattern in a, in a vector of a string as it is given we have to store it in a vector of a string okay so for that what we have to do is that we have to create a vector of a string of size n okay of size n we have to create now the next thing is that these are the numbers which is given to us okay now just just to see one thing guys okay that if come let's say that come uh, in start we have three empty strings three empty strings we have so what we will do we will start from one we will push the first three numbers in the first string so it will be one two three and we just start after them then for the next two numbers we will store in the next string but before that we will make two dash and then that number for the third uh, number it will be four dash and then that number this is how we have constructed a half part of our pattern you can see this is the half part which we have constructed and then in the next part we will iterate from the below means the last string and then we will do the same thing at first seven then eight and nine and i start after them then 10, 11, and 12. But you can see that there is extra start in every string. So we will basically pop the last character of every string. And this will be the final pattern that we will get. If I will just pop them, this is the final pattern which we will get after the completion of the program. So this is how our program will look like. So now let's discuss how we can solve the problem. So first, let's take uh, to first take a duplicate variable to store the value of n because that is what we will use. So let's take it equal to n and a vector of a string v, okay, of size n. That is all what we we all have now, okay. Now what we will do that here we will initialize it by empty string. Fine. So this is what we have now. Now we will create because now first to, to print the half pattern to store the half pattern we have to iterate from the first row to the nth row this is what we have to do so let's start from i is equal to 0 to i is equal to n okay now now what we have to do is that here we have to also make some counters the first counter will be of dash that how many dash are there initially number of dash is equal to 0 and then we will increase the number of dash by 2 you can see first there are no dash then there are two dash then there are four dash this is this is the thing we have to do okay fine 
another thing is that we have to make a counter of us let's say c so c will be the number which you have to basically store like one then two then three then four until up to we have to go to 12. this is what we have to do now what we'll do that and because for each row for each row how many numbers you have to store that depends on the value of x so let's say that currently the value of x is 3 so that there are three numbers that are stored in this row then two and then only one number this is how the thing look like so this will also go something of x time so let's take for int j is equal to 0 j will be less than x and j plus plus okay now what we will do that we will simply add let's take a number v i okay in this vi let's store a one thing so we will store a two string function to basically store this number c as a string and also we have to add a star that is what we have added okay but before this there was one more thing we have to also add number of dashes so currently dash is zero but we have to make a we have to drag that too so it will be something like this so it will be like that we have we have to store the dashes okay this is the thing look like now after the completion for a single row there will be some changes in the our uh, you can say the values so our dash will be increased by two and every time you are pushing the value c you will increase it by and your value of x will decrease by one why i am doing this you can see number of dashes are increasing by two first there was zero dash then two then four and first there were three numbers now there are only two numbers then there will be one number this is why x is increasing by one and dash is increasing by two okay this is how it will look like okay now now this is a half pattern which we have printed now for the second half pattern what we will do that we will start from the last row and we will go up to the first row then we have to do the same thing that we have to start let's make x is equal to 1 okay because here you can see in the last row we have one number then two then three this is how we will go so we will increase the value of x by one each time so let's copy this same thing this similar thing and we will just paste it here the only difference is that this time we have to make x plus plus now there is one more thing which we have to consider because here you can see that when we are just following this technique we have got an extra star in the back that we have to pop okay that we have to pop we have to take an extra star we have, that we have to pop so for that what we will do we will take we will make it like this we have to pop it that last star will be popped now we have to simply return this answer or like oh sorry the v v vector which we have got. let's compile and check whether we are uh, right or not you can see that yeah we have got the right output let's now take a custom input also for value 5 and check it okay you can see it is also correct let's submit it okay so it is passed now let's talk about the time complexity and space complexity for this problem so as you know that here we are taking two nested loop and each nested loop is of time complexity o of n square because you can see that this for loop is going up to n and the value of x in this j loop is also somehow n it is something of o of n square time complexity and this same is of this loop also so the overall time complexity of this program is something you can write it is yes. to talk about the space complexity it will be o of n only because we are just taking a vector of a string of as n thank you i hope the video is helpful for you please subscribe and like the video and comment